Hello everyone. Uh, in this class, we're going to discuss about the batch management. First thing we should understand why industries wants to maintain the batches for the different material and how we're going to maintain this batch in the SAP. These two things we're going to understand in this particular class. Uh, first, I want to discuss about the batch here. What do you mean by batch? Batch is nothing but a, a group of products which is having a unique characteristics, we can say. Let us consider, we'll just take with a, uh, some example. Uh, one manufacturing industry is there and it is using different materials like A, B and C are the three different materials in the industry. And using these three materials, the industry is preparing a A, B, C material. A plus B plus C, it is making a A, B, C material. And how it is using these products, uh, A, it might be using a 60% proportion and B, it might be using around 20% uh, proportion and C also, it is using around 20% proportion. Like that, it is using the proportion and it is preparing the material ABC and whatever the material it is preparing, no, it is of very good quality. Means what? Whatever the material you are manufacturing, with this proportion, it is of very good quality. So company, what it will going to do, it will take this proportion as a ideal proportions and whatever the further ABC products will going to produce in the company, that will going to use only this proportion and they'll going to carry out. Or else, uh, this is one batch. Okay, we can say for this. Or else, let us, let us consider uh, some pharmaceutical industry is there and they are using uh, the same materials like ABC and they are uh, taking like uh, A as 49 percent okay this is some other product okay and B is around 20 percent it is using and C it is using around 31 percent and whatever the product they are manufacturing here in the quality test the product is failing okay in the quality test uh, whatever means they are not manufacturing only one or two materials they will be producing the tablets in bulk quantity like in lakhs they will be producing the tablets but with this proportion if the material is not going to test its quality okay means it is not going to qualify its quality then they have to eradicate or discard the entire batch they are not just discarding one or two material here the entire batch will going to get discard so that is where we're going to use the batch management and most of the time you can see that whenever you go and buy some uh, Horlicks products or else some uh, chips products or some packeted uh, uh, edible products you can see batch on the particular material why they have maintained the batch because they have produced on this particular date and this is the batch under which the material is belongs to like that the industry will going to mention it to us and they'll going to send it to the users and now we're going to take uh, some example okay here uh, let us consider you have the some um, uh, what is that cloth manufacturing company and you are manufacturing the different cloths out of which you are you want to go for the batches for the different characteristic of the cloth okay i'll just say uh, it is uh, we are not just ca making the characteristic based upon the proportion here again we can differentiate based upon the color also let us consider you are preparing a cloth like a red color material is there and one blue color material is there and one green color material is there like that you are preparing the uh, this is also one batch only okay if you are ordering for the red color then it is one particular batch okay you are making the blue material as one batch and green material as one batch like that so what we'll do um, for this we'll just uh, go for creation of these batches and how we'll going to uh, do the process in the sapmm we'll going to check it now here if i go uh, you can find the steps here first we need to create the characteristics okay in the sapmm the t code is ct04 for this and after that, we're going to create the class with the CL02 and we need to assign whatever the characteristic we have prepared for uh, prepared earlier and we need to assign it to the class. And while creating the class, we need to take the class type as 023. This is important, okay? And next thing is, 
if you have the product already then you just go to the mm02 and in purchasing view we need to tick the batch management and one more thing we need to do here okay the one more thing activity in mm02 is we need to select the classification view and we need to assign our assign our class here we need to assign our class okay what we'll do anyway i am not having any material so we'll going to create the material and uh, at the first in the purchasing view we'll going to take the batch management next we'll going to come back to the classification view and we'll going to assign our class after that we need to create the batch and the t code is msc1n once we'll going to create the batch we'll going to create the po okay and we'll going to select our batch within the po and how it will going to show and all we'll going to see it in the sap system i'll just quickly move into the sap and here i'll just say slash n ct04 and i'll going to create the class now i'll say uh, lt01 cloth is one characteristic for me okay for the cloth i am giving the different characteristics so i am just taking the character as lt01 underscore cloth and i'll say create here because it is not yet available i'll say create now we'll going to get the fields to enter in the characteristic so here the description i'll going to provide the same i'll just copy it and i'll paste it here and one more thing very important thing is the data type the format in the format we are having the data type what is the data type over here is a character character format and here i am maintaining three digit character here and whatever the values i am not selecting a single value here uh, the batch is not for single it is a multiple value okay we are giving the multiple values for this batch and in the description same thing is maintained here go to the values you need to enter your different values whatever the values you want to maintain here like i am taking the cloth here like let us consider c1 is there and uh, this c1 is belongs to red cloth this is one character okay c2 is another character i am creating the uh, blue cloth with the c2 character and c3 is the another character with this i am creating the green cloth like this i am going to give uh, three different characteristics here means these are the different different characteristics but they are available in this lt0 underscore cloth and click enter just save this data i will i have created the class now my class is sorry my characteristic is lt0 underscore cloth now i'll just go and create the uh, class now slash n cl02 is for uh, creation of the class here also just give lt01 cloth only and here this is important okay class type we need to take it as a 023 and just say create here and i need to just give the same description or else whatever the description you want you can give it but i'll just maintain the same and here the status is there it is released and class group is there don't uh, ignore all these things okay and just go to the characteristic here we need to assign whatever the characteristic we have just now designed uh, defined that is lt01 underscore cloth this is our characteristics right so just click enter see all the values it is taking automatically what i will do i will just uh, save this value okay i uh, means i am just uh, creating this class over here once i have created the class we need to uh, create our material in the material i will just go to the slash mm01 and uh, i have taken the raw material as lt01 click enter uh, these are the different things which we will be taking and here it is lt01 and lt01 click enter here i'll be taking it as a, a cloth and uh, i'll be taking it in the uh, rls each only you take okay and general rls you can take in the meter also okay how much meter you want and all okay here uh, the cloth is there no we're going to maintain the uh, meter for this particular thing okay so that one also you can take i'll just go for the meter here okay here it is meter just click enter and uh, here in the purchasing view this is important in the interview also they may ask you um what means what is the how we'll going to process the batch management if they are asking the answer is very easy okay first we'll going to prepare the characteristic then we'll going to prepare the class after that we'll going to assign our characteristic to the class then uh, if we have the material then go to the mm02 in the purchasing view 
will go in to tick the batch management so here is the batch management this is one important thing here and uh, we'll going to take the uh, what is that um, uh, classification view also in the classification view we'll going to assign our class in the classification view and once we'll going to assign our classif I mean a class in the classification view we have the option to select what are the different characteristics are there for the material we are preparing then we'll going to create the batch after that we'll going to create the PO that's that should be your answer so I'll just take it as L and proceed further here I'll just mention it as a PD and I'll take MRP control as LMC and this is EX click enter I'll just take it as a 10 days and this is LSK click enter here for the raw material it will be 3000 and click enter save this data and I have created the material uh, 5 followed by some zeros 1 3 I'll just copy this material and again just give this material over here click enter now you just select the classification view it will not going to go for any other views now it will directly jump into the classification just see I'll give LT01 and LT01 here just click enter see it is coming for the classification view I'll just give my class uh, uh, class what is my class LT01 underscore cloth is my class just click enter see I have given this value and here what are the different values you want to take it for the this particular class it is asking I'll say all the three values I'll be taking means whenever I'll be sending uh, the PO to the vendor that time I will going to choose okay which uh, thing I want to order okay which color cloth I want to order I will going to choose in the PO but as of now in the material I'll going to take all the different characteristics if you want to have the separate characteristics then what you can do is same thing you will going to proceed and the same class you will going to assign it for three different materials but first for the this particular uh, material like we can say red cloth we'll just select the red okay other two options i'll not going to select from here so we'll just select the red and we're going to proceed so that is how we're going to create three different materials with the three different characteristics but as of now i'll be taking the all the characteristics within this material but whenever i'll be sending the po to the vendor that time i'll going to take uh, what is the material characteristic and i'll going to means i'll going to send the po to him okay i'll say okay here and just save this data i have created my material now we'll just go and create the batch uh, for creation of the batch the t code is slash n m s c 1 n just click enter see this is the material for which we want to create the batch you can take the different batches here you can mention the number you can mention some characteristics you can mention alphanumeric entries anything it is possible what we'll say i'll say red one okay or else red cloth red cloth red c we'll going to mention okay and click enter here uh, it is provided the expiration date and all okay if for the cloth also if you want to provide some expiration date uh, and production date we will going to mention here self life expiration date we can mention here and here whatever the vendor details are there we can able to mention and you can able to give the short description or short text for this particular uh, thing as well as you can mention some administration uh, data as uh, created by created on and all here we need to mention our uh, classification okay in the classification we have taken this uh, characteristic but what is this characteristic it is a red cloth okay what uh, for which I'll going to select only the red okay so if I'm taking a batch as a red C then it will going to choose only the red cloth not the other I'll just save this data and now I'll going to give as a blue C okay means blue cloth like that okay again you just go to the classification and select your uh, blue color here okay means you are uh, choosing this characteristic or this uh, particular batch means it is ordering the blue cloth like that just save this data and again you just give the green C click enter go to the classification and here uh, you can choose the green and just save this data so we have created our uh, batches as well now ME21N 
and I'll go to create the purchase order. Just choose whatever the vendor you want to choose. Okay, I'll just take seven five here, and we need to enter our organization data. Here I'll go to choose LT01, and the uh, group is this one, and the company code is LT01. And what is our material? Material is one three. One three. Okay, this is my material. In a pure quantity, I'll go to take hundred meters here, and the plant is LT01. And the storage location is LT01. Click enter. It will go in to ask for the price. And I'll say for one particular meter, I'll go into providing around uh, 60 rupees. Let us consider per meter, I'm providing 60 meters. Click enter. Now, where is the batch is coming? Okay, just drag it down uh, forward. Okay, here a batch option is there. Just uh, drop down. And for this material, whatever the batches are available, it will go into show over here. And now I want to order some blue material. Okay, just double click on this blue C. Okay, and I am selecting this batch. I'll just check the PO. Okay, and please ignore this error. It is about the um, like output determination. We'll go into see it next, and just save this. Okay, now I have saved this uh, PO purchase order. Now I want to process the GR for this. Copy this PO purchase order and go to the MIGO transaction that is to process the GR. And here you just enter your purchase order number, click enter. The entire data is came here and the batch also it is coming. Okay, batch also coming. If you want, you can just check the batch from the uh, downside also. Okay, in the classification, you are having that different batches here. See different batches now also if you want to oh, change something and all you can able to do it but as of now i'll just maintain the same thing over here and for this i'll just click on item ok and i'll be receiving the goods here i'll check this purchase order or the batch okay batch blue c has already been posted in stock okay so that is fine just post it okay our batch is created so this is how uh one can able to maintain the batches in SAP MM. Thanks for watching my video.